So when I say leaving the Amish, this can mean a couple of different things. First of all, the more dramatic thing we may think of, which is someone who has chosen to be baptized in the Amish church and who then decides they want to not be Amish anymore. That's where you have excommunication and church discipline, shunning, those sorts of things. And then there's the less dramatic example, which would be someone simply choosing not to be baptized. So here are five reasons why people leave the Amish. These are in no particular order. First one, higher education. The Amish normally finish their schooling at eighth grade. So after eighth grade, they're typically going to start their sort of non-formal education and training and that usually means maybe helping out at home at the farm or you know helping out you know an uncle in his furniture shop or whatever it might be to start to develop those hands-on skills even more but there are definitely people that want more formal education i mean there are stories of people who left the amish simply for this reason some of these people go into the medical profession become doctors for example there are cases of amish getting ged degrees for example and staying in the church but typically they don't do higher education so if you want to become a lawyer or a scientist or have a medical career you would need to do that outside the amish church it, not that there aren't brilliant Amish people, there are a lot of them. They just tend to go into occupations that fit within their culture. A lot of times, though not always, they go into business. Number two, abusive or dysfunctional situations. So dysfunction and abuse definitely exists among the Amish, uh, as in other places. Especially in some communities with the way the church functions, this can create a situation where abuse is quote-unquote handled internally by the church when these are really criminal behaviors that need outside intervention for the security of the victims at the very least. They're not always handled that way, although there have been encouraging stories about Amish in certain communities taking those steps to alert authorities when abuse cases happen. And I'm talking about sexual abuse, physical abuse, those sorts of things. Of children, of spouses, this exists in some Amish communities in some places. I mean, understandably, this can be a reason why someone might not want to remain with the church or might not want to choose to become Amish in the first place. Number three, technology. Some people cr simply crave more technology than they're able to use within an Amish lifestyle. For some, that may be a car or fancier gadgets. I'm not sure this is a huge reason why people leave, even though you know maybe outsiders suppose that Amish really wish they could drive cars and, and so forth. It can also be related to business. These two can be tied together. So a business owner might be wanting to grow his business further and might be pushing the rules within his church, pushing for more technology to be able to grow as he sees it. He may be getting resistance from his church. This can create a clash. If the businesses grow too large, that can also create a power imbalance where you know you have the church leaders on the one hand and then you have the business leader in the church who maybe employs half the church district. I think that really mainly happens if the business owner is not humble. I know Amish who own large businesses, one who owns a really large business by Amish standards who really coexists quite well within the church. But if the person is not humble, if his attitude threatens the church in some way, this can mean your business has become quote unquote too large. That can lead to situations where people want to leave the church. Number four, sexuality. Specifically homosexuality. Being openly gay is not condoned by the Amish, and there's really no avenue where an openly gay person can really exist publicly within the Amish church. Amish consider it a sin, and it's just something they don't accept in the ways that non-Amish American society does. So this is, one, this is one reason that people will leave the church or simply choose not to be baptized. Number five, spiritual or religious differences. Some Amish want a different spiritual experience. Some are attracted to a more evangelical approach to faith. And there are outside churches who actually even recruit among the Amish and try to draw them out, uh, encourage them to join their churches. There's a group called the Charity Churches. There have been stories about at least one Seventh-day Adventist church who has attracted a number of former Amish people to join, even a Latter-day Saints church. So sometimes Amish people are influenced by outside outside religious spiritual influences and that can cause them to want to you know leave the what some people see as the primarily rules-based Amish church I'm not saying that's what it's all about but that's how some people see it so there's definitely an attraction for people that want to get a different spiritual experience 
And they may find their own way out of the church, or they may be proselytized to leave the Amish church. So there's five reasons. Ah, here's a bonus reason for you. Number six, for a relationship with a non-Amish person. To be married to someone in the Amish church, the other person also needs to be Amish. And sometimes people do join the Amish church in order to do just that. But it also can go the other way. You can have a love interest that is non Amish and that ends up leading you to maybe not be baptized within the church or even leaving the church. There are other people who speak from personal experience out there that you can check out both on YouTube and people who have written books, uh, memoirs, those sorts of things. By the way, people who, who leave the Amish are not necessarily negative about it. You know, there's a lot of negative stories that get a lot of attention. I mean, you can definitely understand why in some cases. Some have mixed feelings about it. Some people, you know, leave the Amish but still keep positive feelings about their, you know, their church, their community, their, their culture. Uh, maybe it just wasn't for them. But there are also some pretty negative stories. So there's six reasons. Are there other reasons? For sure, probably there are. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Thanks. See you next time.